bring young people out into the streets, often into an atmosphere where alcohol is the fuel of entertainment, or as some might say, a right fucking piss up. Events like the Otley Run, a 16 stop pub crawl through the city, where students pass through pubs like piss through a bladder, are a rite of passage. So what's it like navigating a social life when the ingredients of booze are taken away? So, my favourite non-alcoholic beverage is calf fruit punch. So, um... That's fucking rank. My name is Con, I'm 23 years old, and I have been without drink for the past year. This story's gonna be... hard to swallow. Unless they're forced to. People are quite bad at socialising now. And so when you know you've got silly costumes, you're walking between pubs, and you can see everyone else who's doing exactly the same thing you are, it's a lot easier to talk to people. I think even when you're drunk, people still struggle to socialise because they just go, oh, well, I've got a couple mates here. I'll just stick with them. But if you see a Superman and you're a Superman, that guy's your fucking best mate, isn't he? That's what I've taken from it, is a lot of people drink so that they don't have to give a shit. We all know that yous can be judgmental. It begs the question as to whether someone feels judged or not when it comes to social inhibition and their choices of sobriety. I've never really felt judged, but I've never really surrounded myself with the kind of people who might judge me for that kind of thing. I'm not really about that. I've always existed in an environment where we were like, cool, peer pressure is not cool. Being sober for me, it doesn't guarantee that you're gonna have no inhibitions. I turned 23 in January, and the day after I turned 23, I woke up and I stood up and I was like, dang, there's something cold in my pants. And I checked and I had shit myself. My mum brought us up not really uh, drinking as kids, funnily enough but in a big Scouse family where drinking was kind of a big thing. And we pretty quickly learned from a young age that when you're surrounded by a bunch of people who are doing uh, whatever they want because they're pissed as a fart, you can also do whatever you want without having to worry about it. As I would as if I didn't have the inhibitions, same as I would if I was drunk, but when I'm fully sober. And then I get to take the piss out of people afterwards, which is great because I remember everything. Ah. It makes one wonder as to how, moving forward, someone who doesn't drink may view their future relationship with alcohol. Experimenting with moderation is something that I plan on doing, but it very much is a case of being a social drinker in very specific social situations, as opposed to having a, like a liquor cabinet or something like that. So yeah, I think that it's kind of using not drinking as a learning experience in how to moderate my drinking in a healthy way and then seeing if that is something that's viable. And I think I'll know pretty quickly whether or not it is. Yeah. Should we get a pint?